Hey everybody, it's the walker. Hold on a second. Yeah, there we go. What are we doing today? Well, the snow is finally lighting up some, and we are out on a conditioning hike. Gotta watch my footing. And I had some requests on my channel about um, a wood gas stove that I reviewed a while back. And people wanted to know, does it burn alcohol? And also the stove came with like a little metal tray. Could you use that tray for burning alcohol and maybe on boiling water or cooking? I've never used the little metal tray and never tried to burn alcohol through the stove. And the person asked if it can burn, use a um, Trangia alcohol burner, ah, spirit alcohol burner. I guess whatever side of the pond is what you call it. I have two of them. I have a military one. Actually, I have more than two, but I have a military one and they're a backpacker one. So we'll see if they fit. I've never actually tried this before. So right now, you know, as well as I do, if it works. All right, so let's um, find ourselves a little spot. I, I don't know if I had to pitch a tarp. There's still a little bit of snow coming down. <sighs> Maybe I'll just risk it without a tarp. We'll see. And we'll try the uh, $20 eBay wood gas stove burning alcohol. So stay tuned. Probably wondering why <laughs> in the midst of all this snow, everything is turned up here. Well, we just ran off a bunch of turkeys. It's kind of cool. They're kicked up. Who knows what they're looking for? They were the war. They were working it pretty good. And they looked like a pack of little dinosaurs when they took off. Some of the cool stuff um, seen in the woods. There's a turkey footprint. Turkey footprints all over here. Let's keep going with that um, stove test. I think pitching this tarp <laughs> was a good idea. And now we'll see exactly how or if the $20 eBay wood gas stove burns alcohol. The weather's a little squirrely, so if the wind picks up and the stove starts flying, it is exactly what it is. That's why I, picked, I pitched this tarp. Wasn't gonna do it at first. Turned out to be a good play. Now, the stove comes with this little tray. There it is. And there's been some talk on my channel about what this tray does in a review I've done for this stove in the past. And the theory is that it holds either an SPIT tablet or could hold alcohol. To use this stove to burn alcohol. Also a person um, on my channel asked if it could burn, if it could use a uh, Trangia burner I brought a civilian one, and I brought the uh, military one. Here they Here's the, both of them. I've never done this before. I have no idea how this is going to work out. We're using denatured alcohol. And no, I don't carry this entire can with me. But figured somebody's going to want to know what I'm using for fuel, so there it is. I guess um, we'll start the test. Little cup.
Oh, this is a little tricky. Maybe I should have... I think I should have put the fuel in first before... Um, oh. There we go. I spilled some of it. All right, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Remember, alcohol in the daytime burns clear. So you want this away from this. Let's see if we can get this going. Maybe we'll try this with the... Um, It's lit. Alcohol stoves tend to burn. Um, they burn. Uh, they burn clear. First time. Um, there we go. That looks like about it for the fuel. Uh, let's see what we got. Well, it's pretty hot. It's definitely pretty hot. Um, a strong simmer, but never really a rolling boil. But I'll tell you one thing though. It's um, kind of prime for those uh, needles I picked. In you go. We'll let that steep. Okay, um, well, I don't know, still hot. If I even set that up right, I, I really don't. I have no idea, I've never done this before. Um, but I put, I put the thing in the bottom, pretty much filled it up. So maybe I didn't do it right. Um, if anybody out there has done this, has done this before, hey, let me know um, if there's a different way of doing that. It definitely heated up the water enough to, um, to make the tea. And I could say it definitely, um, if I had full, um, gathered that water, that simmer was long enough to, um, to purify it or make potable. So it was definitely long enough for that. Um, you don't really need, in my opinion, if you get sick, I don't want to hear it, a rolling boil for 10 minutes. If you get a good, 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 good simmer going for a while, that's always worked for me. But of course, if you have the energy, boil away. Um, and if you get sick, I don't want to hear it, okay? I'm just giving, I'm just telling you it's worked for me in the New England woods. All right, I think it's time um, we're gonna drink this tea. Then um, we got a little bit of water left. We'll see how that. Um, we'll see how the Trangia works. This is a lot of water in here. This is a lot of water. Um, how about? I think we have. Oh no, we got a little. I'd say we got maybe um, 25 ounces left. So we'll see how the um, Trangia works. Let's drink the tea first, and we'll come back to this. Oh, oh, that water's hot, so it did make it hot. I gotta let this cool a little longer.
Now we're going to try the uh, Trangia burners. Oh, I have two. Military, civilian. Let's see, if, let's see if they fit. Fits. So the military burner will go in there. Obviously the smaller civilian backpacker goes in there as well. I really should do a review on these two to show the difference. But that's for another day. Once again, we want to make sure that everything is out. It's hard to see alcohol burn during the day. So this is dead cold. Again, that's the fuel we're using, denatured alcohol. Now, this is not a scientific test. This burner may hold more fuel than this cup. I don't know. We're just um, out here in the woods messing around with stoves. Place this in here. This is much easier to place. I kept dumping the fuel trying to get this in here. So if you do this, my advice is put this in, then add the fuel. That was the first time, so that's the best way to do it. I had to add more fuel to compensate for the little bit I dumped. But the Trangia goes right in. Now for the water. Again, not a scientific, st not a scientific test here. Maybe a slight bit less, so we'll compensate. We'll add a little snow to help compensate. There we go. Ah, I lost a slight bit of water. A little more snow. All right. And there's a bug. Can you believe that? A bug. Ah. Forget it, who cares? Now that's about the same, same liquid with a little bit of slushy snow in there. Okay, let's, um, let's get a roll on this. The other one seemed to light easier. Light. That's all right. One thing fails, I have the pick. That's lit. Pick lighter. It's a good item to have in the woods. Now we'll wait. The Trangia, this is just a pool of alcohol. But the Trangia, it has these little um, burner jets 
and as the fuel vaporizes in the inner wall, it starts to shoot out the little jets like that. Good burner. I've had this one, well, the one, both of them for quite a while, and they're excellent. Heavy though, um, especially the military one. Spilia one's a lot lighter. But if you're looking for something really solid, that's it. Cap has a little O-ring on the civilian one and the military one. Imagine if there's any fuel left. This has a burner. The civilian one has a little simmer ring. This way I believe only the middle part goes and it can't vaporize where the jets are. That's a raging rolling boil. A raging rolling boil. Look at that. A raging rolling boil. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. So as you can see, it's functioning awesome. Absolutely awesome. And we still got fuel left in there. Wow, that's great, that's great. I think it's gonna boil again. Really good, really good. So I, I'm pretty satisfied um, with this stove, um, with the uh, Trangia combination, Trangia, I think it's a Lexicon, I don't know. Well, the Trangia $20 eBay wood stove combination, thumbs up. Um, of course, Trangia is a great burner anyway, so um, it's a good spirit burner. But um, it seemed to work pretty good uh, <laughs> inside that, um, inside this body. Um, for boiling water, I, I guess maybe, um, the sides are uh, reflecting the heat into the um, body of the of the stove, which is then heating up the inner wall more and shooting the flames out. That's my best guess. It kind of vaporizes fuel in between the walls and then shoots it out those little rings. I mean, not rings, little holes in a ring-shaped pattern. But uh, it seems to work pretty good inside there. All right, I guess that kind of concludes um, today's little adventure and <laughs> we have a boil again yes we absolutely have a boil again so thumbs up and that uh, answers the um, at least best of my ability uh, the users uh, or person posting on my forums channel on um, if the $20 wood gas stove works good with alcohol stoves and I guess yes it does but I still I'm up in the air about this little metal tray that they give you. But we have another great rolling boil, and no, I guess that's about it. So once again, if you like what you've seen, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and y'all have a great day, and I gotta keep on with my hike. But this is loads of fun.